Shannon Jadley against Steve Bruck, two fantastic bowlers. So let's check it out. Match number two, Stephen Bruck. Looks like he's got a pistol on his ball there. What the, what kind of equipment is that, Jennifer? Yeah, is that a new I one? I think it's a bandit, maybe. Yeah, yeah that's well, a let's, no, let's not talk about what he does on his spare time. Let's, uh, you know, in case there's a warrant out for him or Steve's anything. Steve's really got some heavy roll on it, so he's going to be throwing some strikes for sure. His girlfriend, Darlene Johnson, what a great lady she is. There she is in the right, talking to his daughter, Jessica. She's five. And Lee, Nina nice Jadley, people. been on uh, several times this year. No stranger to television and no stranger to the strike zone. <laughs> Speaking of children, he has a son, Jeremy, who's very enthusiastic about his father's bowling. Says he's got a couple thousand trophies at home. Uh. Like I said, I wouldn't want to dust all of those things, but uh, again, I want to thank all of our sponsors that uh, are responsible for having us back. Cutipole, uh making those great products that, that you and I both like, along with the new Trade Winds, which is just making a fantastic dent in the market. What a great strike on that ball. Boy, that really was. He's pretty loose. He's been on TV before. Yeah, that's definitely a bandit that Steve Brock is throwing. Oh, okay, the equipment. I thought you were talking about his pastime. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bandit seems to be reacting pretty well, but Lee is not intimidated, starting the match off with a double. Also a double. There's Darlene Johnson and his daughter Jessica. Look at that big smile. Look, Daddy got a strike. <laughs> Age 39, averaging 215, he bowls at two BPA Fun Centers, Western Bull and also Stumps Lanes, Thir averaging 215 and 208, Thir low and high. 13, 300 games, holy <laughs> cow. Started bowling at the age of 10. Come on, Steve. There it is. There it is. He's cheering it on. Come on, Steve, she says. Bring it home. There's a buddy of mine, Rick Pitcairn, and his son, Rick. Can't call him Ricky anymore since he's like 6'4", 200 pounds. I'll I wouldn't say. dare say that. Really? Rick's moved to Utah and uh, has racked up quite a few titles out there. Is and, that uh, right? Yeah. He's, bowling? Uh, yeah. <laughs> or skiing? <laughs> Believe it or not, bowling. Uh, oh, Lee feels so dejected. <laughs> what a bad, bad break on the seven. Throws a great shot, comes up empty. Watch the head pin, center your screen, go to the right hand wall, come off. It's supposed to take it out, is it? Uh uh. Munoz would have missed that block. <laughs> oh, he's not playing for us anymore. That's right. I, I, I forgot. Lee bowls out at Suburban Bowl. One of League and you League bowlers. Cannot miss the single pin spares. Uh. Lee's no stranger to 300s either. He has five. That's incredible. Came in fourth place in a PBA regional. Qualified with a 749. As we said, his third time on TV. 226 average. Woohoo. That's up in the stratosphere. And so is that ball. Nice mixing, turning action. Keeping the pins low and reacting very, very well. Jennifer, it's, it's, I'm going to miss this. Here we are, our last week of regular qualifying. Next week, we're going to have the finalist, and that uh, tournament is going to feature the best of the best. They actually qualified for it this weekend, so I know there's some great scores to be had, and it's going to be some heavy-duty action. Well, Steve motioning there, as you see it, his arm across his body. If you're going to go with a mistake folks go with your hand more to the right G give it at least a chance to hook back but if you pull it up into the beak you're going to leave something like that pesky little four pin boy steve has some great accomplishments winner of the 1993 ohio masters out of 264 bowlers he also won the ohio state qualifier for the 1993 u.s open <laughs> yes steve there is oil in the middle of the lane and you found all of it Oops. <laughs> but I bet, you know what though I bet he doesn't do that again and, and Jennifer I don't know about your format in um, in uh, you know match play competition mm -hmm. but 
if I've only got four balls, I'm still going to use one of them to go across lane mm -hmm. to test the oil for a spare. For sure. Wow. That was awesome. Awesome. Can't even begin to describe this shot. Five pin is going to be center your screen, second one back. Watch the ball as it enters the 1-3 pocket. Now keep your eyes on the ball. Second, Now that ball, right there, the one that hits, whacks out the seven. And a scout going across was the head pin. Nothing could have lived through that. Not even a cockroach. Not even. Oh, Not he's going to get a scout of his own. Yes! <laughs> Well, hey, Lee, we're going to take those. He's laughing. Everybody's laughing. We're having a great time this morning. No, oh, everybody's loose. That is the head pin again, the guy that's going to do the job. He's going to come over and just kind of gently say, hey, psst, psst, you're supposed to be out of here. This is a competition of scouts. Who's going to get the championship patch? Well, that was a very polite scout. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Bruck's scout was very, was not subtle at all. Going high, leaving the quick eight, the six, ten. Should be an easy spare for Lee. Again, everybody checking out the action. Lee Gann, owner of Suburban Bowl, came out here this morning to check out the action. As he always does, what a great proprietor. He represents his Suburban Bowl and the BPA so well. It was quite, uh, quite a drive for him, too, to be here. Yeah. I was joking with him when he came in this morning and said uh, he had to take a motel room to stay. We will be back, and you won't need a motel room at all, because two and two. We'll see you. We're leaving the 8-10 and wisely taking the one pin, because uh, this match is very close, and that one pin could make a big difference. I talked about Steve's titles. Boy, you can just add them all up. 1989 Hoinkey Classic Mixed Doubles Champion. He says he shot 269 in the finals of the Ohio Masters to win by eight pins. How's that for a great finals in the Ohio Masters? Well, that's, that's some great finals, but it's no greater than our match here on King of Bowl. And I think it was last week we had, uh, for the Kingship, a couple of 260 games coming down to the wire, Jen. Yeah, we've just had some fantastic bowling and some real highlights this year. Let's see if we got a heel toe or a slider. More of a slide than a heel toe. Excellent a shot. shot really. the, the release on that one was the key. The arm swing going out to the left. Nice and loose and open. Watch his arm swing after the footwork. Heel toe, heel toe. Now arm swing goes out to the left as you can see nice and free and easy the result 10 in the pit every pin doing its job Lee married to Annette for 10 years as I said they have a son Jeremy what a doll seven years old as I said very enthusiastic about his father's bowling there you Another go scout. yes <laughs> he's boxing now well, let's go let's go sure he's pumped up it's a tight match Jennifer and this is the type of bowling we're used to watching here on BPA King of Bowling every Sunday head pin center your screen again goes to the right hand wall comes off and just hacksaws the seven out I am really amazed how Lee is sending those pins left to right much better shot from the 810 before on lane six this time leaving a ring 10 if you want to see why a 10 pin is left you can watch the second one from the right hand side of your screen the six pin now watch what it does it goes around the 10 drops into the pit its assignment is to take the 10 pin out didn't do its job we saw our montgomery in pin sweep there on lane six today at hides lanes down there the other night I'm telling you, I had a great meal. Linnea was our waiter, waitress. Linnea? Linnea. Was she funny and nice and <laughs> gave us great service? I'm well, you telling always, you. Always give saw great Mr. Service, Gregory, though. introduced myself. He was did, every he does, was does he everything everybody crown? said. Does he wear that crown? No. Did but this? he doesn't have to, it just follows him. <laughs> sort of like a halo that goes around. Ted Gregory, what a great place and what a happening place it is. You see people and it's fun and Steve, Great food. Steve. They're uh, having fun. Check this out. Absolu Dave. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What in the world? This is so great being on King of TV Bowling. You can knit and watch bowling too. <laughs> Amazing. 
20 pins the difference. Lee looking good on this shot. And then this time no scout, huh? Week seven, yes. Mike Sells, of course, providing the snacks week to week to week. And you can buy those snacks at your local grocers and at your... Uh, and sure, most of your BPA fun centers around the city. Mike sells a great snack to have. And they don't just do potato chips. When you have to have a popcorn. snack. Yeah. They all, do all that good stuff. You oh, it's extensive the amount of stuff they have. What's what's that thing that, that uh, my kids brought home the other day? It's a popcorn mm -hmm. the size of my fist almost. <laughs> you, have you seen that one? No, I haven't, but I will check it out. Unbelievable. My kids find more stuff on the shelves <laughs> at the grocery store. They're worse than I am when they go. Mike Sells, thank you so much for sponsoring us this year. Lee, Nina Jadley, leads by 19 pins going into the 10th frame. It's not over yet. Let's see what happens. Wow, he sat down on that one. <laughs> wow. He said, get down on it. Yeah. Great shot. He says, come on, come on. One more, be there. Okay, great match so far. Lee, Nina Jadley, bold, absolutely phenomenal. He needs one more strike to shut out Steve Bruck. And that is within his power. He could strike out for a 224. Steve has 155 in the eighth with a strike posted in the ninth. Indeed, he can shut him out right here. Oh. Hey, what? Wow. You actually need a strike to win. You throw a career shot. And what do you have to show for it? A solid seven. Watch it here. From the left-hand side of your screen, the four pin, second one from the left, watch it there. Go right around the belly of the seven. That was truly a bad break. Well, now we get to check out Steve Brock. We know he's a pressure bowler. He's been there countless number of times. Jennifer, this is what everybody tunes in to see. Steve Brock, a veteran of many, many years of BPA King of Bowling, needs three strikes in the 10th frame to win by one pin. Wow. Needs them all, or the party is over. Got to have this one. It's in the area. Yes. yes. Beautiful. He is so cool. Absolutely fantastic pressure situation, and he just reaches back for a little extra and just rips him out of there. You can cut the pressure with a knife in here. Everybody's looking on with great intent. And that man looking on with great intent, wondering what else could I have done. And quite frankly, Lee, you missed a single pin spare, and that could smell you through. But it's like got to be this. Got to have it. Boy, what a great effort by Steve Rock. A great, great match. Yep. A good content look at him, too, shaking his head. He knows that uh, Steve threw a great shot there. A little bit too much in the oil and not getting the 10 out. But Lee, Nina Jadley, the winner of match number two, will go on to meet our king. Good sportsmanship here on the King of Bowling. Don't go away. Our sponsors want to have a couple of your moments, so stay right there for match number three. We'll be back.